Hey everybody, welcome back to the Jeremy Redman build support in public. We we build, we support right here on here. Okay, anyway, there's a lot of ways that you can, I, I wanna share a little glimpse into how I manage our CTO sometimes. Um, because while he does a lot of stuff on his own, uh, he's doing a lot. And we get, like, he's doing so much, Kyle, that, and we've only got, you know, one and a half other engineer, one other engineer. So we're doing a lot with the people we got. And I'm gonna give you this glimpse of like one thing, one little thing that is like kind of like a microcosm of what happens at like a tech company. We got a message from Vince, our head of sales, that was like, <laughs> with no context, by the way, it was just a screenshot saying, hey, missed run. So there's two cool things here. Um, one is we made alerts using customer IO uh, on an event that they didn't have their app open and it missed the run so you can replay it. Kyle, God bless him, just wrote this plain garbage, <laughs> which is fine. Um, fine for like a let's get this done and hurry. But I'm trying to figure out why like he couldn't have put like a logo or like dressed it up or maybe like deep link something in. So I'm gonna call him and find out. And then he's not gonna pick up. So this will happen. Your call has been forwarded to an Terrific, thanks Kyle. Um, now what I do is I slack him. <laughs> And we'll see if he gets me back. I just don't know, and I don't, I don't even know the context as to Vince just uploaded this. So like, I don't know if it's like, hey, yeah, this worked. So great work, Vince, for not giving any context to this. Terrific. Secondly, I don't know what to do with this. But I don't know what to do with this, man. Like, is it like a cool, this worked. We're getting these alerts. And like, I don't know if this is from the customer or from Vince or what. I mean, I, these are the things like, welcome to my life. Um, let's see, and then I'll normally like call him again. So I'm gonna call him again. There's like no action item on here either. Your call has been forwarded to an automate. F it. Cool. Those are my critiques and that is my process. Vince will send us this with no context. I, I'm, I guess, I mean, he didn't tag me. He just threw it in our team channel. I mean, this to me, like I'm, maybe this is like a, a BCC your eyes. Hey, Jeremy, look at this. It worked. Or can we improve? Kyle, there's no action items. Now I'm just going to tell you on here, Kyle. Uh, put a put a deep link in here. Put our logo on here. Can we at least be like a minimum good? Now, all of that said, OK, it worked. The alert, they got the alert but I don't know what this does, right? So like, can we get some of our branding on here? And that is how I manage. I don't know what to do with this, man. I'm gonna try to call him again. I don't know. So this is what happens. 
when you're the founder CEO of a company, we're gonna get messages like this from people with no kind, this, by the way, this is what you also get from customers is a screenshot. He, maybe he got this from a customer. Here he is. Hey, handsome, what's going on? Hey, what's up? Okay, so um, did you see that screenshot from Vince and team? Yeah, he called me asking what it was and I explained it's what we've talked about numerous times. So he's good to go on it now. Okay, cool. Can you tell me what you think I'm going to say about it? Just the styling of it, I assume. <laughs> yeah, you do know me, man. You do know me, man. Yeah, uh, I'm just setting up all the email alerts. I, I don't know if we want the logo in it or what we want to do there, but... No, I just man, I just bro, you do drag and drop template. You do know me because right now you're on the pod. I'm recording this. Oh, okay. So like, and you didn't pick up the first few times. So I was like, he needs to do this. He needs to do this, but he's doing a million things. So this is this is like good. And I don't know what the f Vince is just uploading this with no context. He didn't tag you. He didn't tag me. No, he, he uploaded it and then he called me. And then it was a different, and then we talked about this afterwards. So, okay, good. We do, we got to use like a templated style, like put our logo at the top. So there's some brand awareness here, you know, like immediately. It, there's just a, t this is like plain text. Yeah. It's, they just have a drag and drop email builder. I was yeah. Using. Put, do you need our logo? Do you need the SVG of our logo? Like the black task magic? Uh, no, I'll, I can grab it. We'll make it look like the regular one I designed, yeah? Okay. Um, you, we, we need to like deep link or something to the app. How do you do that? Um. Or like, dude, you need to embed a video that's clickable. That's like, here's what you do. At a worst case embed like a loom video or something in there something visual that can be clicked on so that when you click it it opens up and is like here you know what you know what we should do we should put an image there that links out to a help article if you can't deep link we can do the desktop open for a button so great. Yeah. Yeah. Do that. Be like, cool. If you're on your desktop getting, you know, when you get to your desktop, click here. You know what I mean? And it will open that thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's perfect, dude. You realize that? Because you click the button, it opens it and now it's on. How cool. Yeah. I'll and, see what I have to do. and it will automatically run. Yes. Uh, they'll have the notification to start the run about like the missed run that they got. Remember, can, I mean, remember when we talked about it automatically running if it's on? Can it do that? Well, uh, no, we didn't really want to because like if it's supposed to run at 9 a.m. and you finally open the app at 2 in the morning, you don't really want to send Instagram messages at 2 in the morning necessarily. So I just I yeah. want to prompt them and allow them to decide. If but like, run. will the we next said, run go? Like maybe the missed run won't go, but will the next? Yeah, right. Okay. The next run will it'll continue okay. going. Like it doesn't stop it from running. It okay. just stops that run from going until you <coughs> manually trigger it. Okay, cool. Awesome. Let's style that and let's put that that button to the desk. Just open the desktop app. Okay. That's not that hard, right? I have no idea how to do it right this second, but I don't think it would be. Okay. Just deep link it. That's not even a deep link, bro. I mean, you can deep link well, it. I mean, the only problem is, is it's trying to trigger a desktop application to open from email, which if they block. No, no, no. But like if I. Links, no, no, wait. I mean, it can open the browser window and, and detect if they have the desktop app. Right. That's my plan is that it would take them to the website yeah. and then the website would be determining if they have the desktop. Yeah, app right. Yeah, you can do that. You can just right. redirect just there. I, I mean, because yeah. that's what every other desktop app does. Like if I have Slack desktop app, it knows I have that. Right. Yeah. I just have to figure out what I'm just setting up there. I okay. agree that it's very much possible. All right. Let's throw some styling on there. And was Vince yeah. OK with what it was like? 
It's very weird to me just threw this up with no context. Yeah, he was just confused why it was running from his computer, but it's because we were testing, like, getting runs going. So I had his son's run going from his computer, and then I had... I was switching around a couple of different people's flows to run from the different computers so we could test it. Okay. Which is why he got the email and not the person is because it's running from his computer. All right, sounds good. Okay, let's add some stuff. Let's add some styling in that button on there. At that least, dude, good. use a styled template. Like, make one where it's logo logo at the top. Like, Yeah, I think we can set some sort of branding guidelines. I'll check it. I mean, regardless, dude, it's like put our icon. You know what I mean? Like, let's let make this look like it's a... I mean, Kyle, sweetie, a scheduled run was not able to run from your desktop app. It's like you threw task magic. Please make sure that your desktop is on and running the task magic. Yeah, no, I just got the I just got the alerts out. That's all I was focused on getting. Just make sure they're all working because I still have more to set up. Yeah, that's what I said on here. Oh yeah, no, there's that's like one I said he's doing I said he's doing a lot. He's doing a lot, everyone. This was the most important email to get out. So the text is going out. Either way, it's going to be screenshotted and sent to us to be asked what it is, even if there's a 50-minute video. So it doesn't really make a difference. Okay. Right this second for that one. Fine. All right. Let's, uh, how was everything else then? It's good. I'm getting the rest of the emails set up for, like, the usage stuff that we talked about, about the 10-hour interval notices. Yep, okay. Um, and then, yeah, there's just other emails. Do you want me setting up emails for, like, failed payments and stuff like that later on? Or do you uh, I mean, we can do else? that. They have a Stripe integration. you can do it from something else, yeah. Well, I like, we had a... We to do it. I set up a Dunning system. Um, I forgot who it was with. I haven't noticed their credit card charges, so, like... Um, I haven't noticed their credit card charges come through, so like I don't know what, it, but I can reset that stuff up. I had that all set up, so like um, I assumed it didn't need to be done by me. I was just trying to set up stuff on my side that I'm making sure I'm covering everything. So. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't think we have to have though. Like Stripe natively, I think does at three or four of them and a couple of retries, but like it, it'd be good to have an event in like customer IO that said, oh, we don't have... I th you can import Stripe. They have the directions on it. It's just... Well, yeah, I know that. But like, I'm just thinking as far as like, oh, when we, should we like cancel their account or stop their runs or delete their server? You know, like yeah, they haven't paid yeah, us in 30 days. Delete it all, you know? Yeah, right. So like setting up that event of like, cool, hey your crap's going to be deleted. Yeah, okay. So, okay. Yeah, but do the other things. Okay. Okay, bye. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. And that is how it goes. Especially when you're building crap. I'm glad he called me back for that. That's great. Thank you so much for tuning in and listening to that. I will see you on the support side as we build and support you. Like, click, subscribe. Make sure to ring the bell to get notified when we reply to your comment. That's very important.